Hi, good afternoon. My name is Janine and I'm a spiritual medium. I'm also a healer too. So in this video, and also welcome back. I'm so grateful that you're here and I hope you get something out of this. You know, my here, I'm here basically to help other people. I'm a healer. I'm a spiritual medium and these are all abilities that I have been working with and it has been growing since um, I guess really my whole life but you know 94 I had big pivotal moments when you know I knew I found out I was a healer and um, I had another psychic tell me that it was my third time around as a healer so basically this video is like um, I guess it would be the second or third video of awakening there are so many different aspects of the awakening the ascension you know why are people waking up and I just want to share a little bit about my journey and a lot of my mystical experiences and things I've you know been through and I'm hoping it'll shed light on other things that you may be going through so you don't feel like you're going alone or you feel like you're alone or you feel like you're going crazy because for a while there I really thought I was going crazy especially with all the conversations I was having in my head and then coming to find out I was a medium and that I have such a close connection to the angelic realm or an you know, ancestral realm um, they're telling me I've always had a close connection ever since I was a, a little kid and um, my awakening well I guess my journey really started I electrocuted myself at three or four, I stuck a bobby pin in a light socket, threw me across the room, um, you know, hands went black, and then um, I started having like visions of being a witch, and I thought it was dream, you know, because I was only like three or four, but I still remember this, but I had visions of being a witch. I've also had visions of living in Atlantis, being a healer in Atlantis. So things have been coming up, and I've had a lot of confirmations. And yeah, I'll go through step by step on some of the things that I have gone through. But what initially, when I started in 2012, and you know, I lost my pit bull, and um, you know, I went to the doctors and they had me on all these different medications, and I just kept getting this uh, voice in my head that there's nothing wrong with me, and that all these feelings I needed to feel, it was it's basically going through the dark night of the soul you know it's releasing old traumas and old beliefs that we have been holding on to our energy bodies and in our minds and then we create stories on things that we've been through and that just pushes us even further behind basically um but it's basically a healing and we are to release all this old stuff and so a lot of this old stuff might pop up you have old traumas you know old things that come up you might have you know, uh, situations that come up in your family and it triggers something in you, you know. These are healing energies or healing aspects for your soul so that you can move forward, um, so you can ascend and wake up. Um, so I've always had ear ringing. I was only, I was born with one ear and, um, you know, talk about being, feeling like I never really belonged. <laughs> you know, I was born with one ear, I had a lisp, I had a stutter. I, I was a mess growing up as a kid, and I was so independent, and I was so strong and, you know, proud to show my mom that I'm strong, and, you know, God bless my mom, she, she put up a lot with me, but I've always been, you know, I've always had psychic abilities, and, you know, I've had, you know, experiences, I blew up my mom's camp tuna casserole, and it exploded all over the living room, this is back in the 80s, and the microwaves were just huge. So, you know, these like little things I've had um, experience of, of experiences and has shown me that I have um, magical powers or whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm a witch. I'm a natural energy. I'm a healer. I've done, you know, energy healings on people. So part of this, um, so I have notes over here. So if I look over here, it's because the notes keep me on track. So one of the things I started going through after that initial experience is that um, they were telling me that um, I need to you know get off the medications I'm not bipolar I'm going through something bigger than you know I realized I didn't even know I was going through an awakening at this point I think I went to go get my hair trimmed and the woman had said oh it sounds like you're going through ascension and then when the spirits had told me you know my angels were telling me to get off the medication I need to feel all these feelings I needed to go through this all this stuff 
it was leading me and it was leading me to they said I need to heal myself so I can help others to heal themselves so that's what I'm doing so and then shortly after that I had one of the things was like a head popping I really thought I was having an aneurysm I really didn't know what was going to happen and I you know I had one pop in the top of my head the side of my head and the back of my head and I've had more throughout my life but I didn't understand that and I really thought okay this is it you know and I think I actually right after that I think I saw 11 11 and it was funny because I had you know experiences where it was time for me to wake up but this one was just like more integration more um, what they're saying like downgrades you know it's like I'm receiving more information going out so I started researching that whole led me down to what you call the rabbit hole <laughs> so I started researching you know what pops in your brain because in my my thinking is a brain is just like a mush thing there's no bone so what could be popping in my brain you know I was, I was trying to research and find out maybe I am having an as a aneurysm or maybe there's a tumor you know something's going on with my brain and I found out we had a pineal gland and when it uh, decalcifies you'll have popping sounds and on top of that I'm you know clear audience and I hear ear ringing so um, you know at first I you know I thought it was TMJ or stress you know you you clench or you know all that kind of stuff and that's why it's really good to take magnesium before you go to bed so you're not clenching you know it helps you relax it helps your body relax your energy body relax and the body needs those nutrients especially if we're going through this ascension for some reason we end up being deficient in magnesium so start taking magnesium another good one to start taking is black seed oil black seed oil is really good for um, inner body health inflammatory work inflammatory <laughs> and um, other stuff you want to look it up it's like really good for hair skin um, I've heard some diet, you know, can help you lose weight, but I take it for inflammatory, you know, inflammatory reasons because I have arthritis and I have, um, I have two herniated discs in my back, so and they said, the last doctor said it was degenerative, but, you know, what does he know? I've been, you know, healing myself and working on myself and, you know, working on my energy, so it's all about taking care of your energy. So, uh, I started realizing that you had to start drinking, um, you know, start taking you know better care of myself so I started drinking more like alkaline water no tap water tap water has fluoride in it and basically you don't want to have fluoride in your body because that will help decalcify your um, the pineal gland in the middle of your brain so what that is it helps you to open up your third eye it helps open up the crown it helps you to see more visions to have your psychic abilities um, it helps you to because I've always been psychic but because my dad was, um, he was very scared by it, he didn't understand it, and it freaked him out. So my mom had told me, we just don't talk about this stuff. So whenever I did try to talk about it, you know, she would either, you know, be quiet or wait until, you know, my dad was out of the room, which usually meant until when he would go to bed, which to me usually meant I never got to talk about it. And so <laughs> I just pushed everything away. And so part of the awakening is remembering your psychic abilities some people it may be you may start remembering you had artistic abilities maybe you remember you used to like to paint or draw you know or graffiti whatever it is that you felt a calling for but you always put in the back burner that is your life purpose what would you love to do that you could do all day long without getting paid for it that is your life purpose so yeah so it, it's it all leads into this so the next thing i started getting it was like shortly after that was a feeling and it was like waking up from a dream and you're like right on the verge of remembering it and you're like oh my god and then it just popped it was gone but mine was oh my god i need to remember why i'm here oh my god there's like there's something i'm supposed to be doing and that's what led me on the search of researching everything I could about this ascension, this awakening. You know, I found Victor Odo, uh, Aaron Doherty. I think Victor Odo is probably tired of hearing from me. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh my God, there's been so many great other ones. You know, uh, Joe Dispenza lately because I'm all about changing the thoughts and changing the energy. So because of my dark night of the soul, that led me into a really dark, headspace so and I was all about you know punishing myself for things you know 
and I'm going to get into that in another video. It's, I don't want this to be too long and too boring. <laughs> so that started me on the search of lurking, uh, searching for my life purpose. You know, you know, this remembrance that there's something I'm supposed to be doing here. And so I know that they were guiding me onto researching stuff. And I've had a couple of readings. And this one woman had said, she goes, oh, you're supposed to be doing what I'm doing. And I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, I'm not a psychic, you know. And then all of a sudden I started remembering I had went to a Native American sweat. And he had said something to me. Because I asked him then, am I meant to be a healer now? He says, not yet. You'll know when you're ready. And he said something about I would help people through doing mediumship or psychic work. And I remember thinking, you're out of your cotton picking line. There ain't no way I'm psychic. You know, I'm not doing psychic readings. I'm not doing tarot cards. I'm a healer. I do massage work, you know. I was a massage therapist. I put, you know, I went through school and I was an energy healer, you know. And it was like all about, you know, all natural healing. And that has stemmed because I had um, found out, I started remembering I was a healer when I used to help my mom when she was bedridden. And it was just like, I had so many different um, experiences. If you want to hear that, I can make another video on my healing um, abilities and how you can work with your energy and that kind of thing. You know, just leave a comment below. Um, so the next one is that you'll end up going into a really deep soul searching. And through all this process, I've realized that the deep soul searching is basically a lot of people like me, for some reason, I've been called... Um, to go deeper within myself to realize that there's more than just my name there's more than just who you see and you know the color I am or the body I'm in there's more to me than just this and I've been in isolating mode for five years and a lot of that was created in my own mind you know if I know then what I know now I would have broke free from this a long time ago they have been telling me I'm supposed to be doing this work a long time ago and I just keep saying I'm not ready and that's from lack of self-confidence. So you'll end up going through a soul-searching. You might start isolating, um, being a hermit. Um, that could be a form of uh, watching too much YouTube or too much TV, reading. You know, reading is actually good. So, I mean, but I mean, if you're doing too much of something and, it's you know, you're actually shutting out your um, the moment-to-moment, -moment, you know, because you're, you're in the past. You're worrying about the future. You're not sure where you're going. You just feel like, man, is there really an ascension going on, or am I just going crazy? And so they just, this is what the soul searching is about. And they just really want you to say to be gentle with yourself, be loving with yourself. Don't beat yourself up. There's no race. There's no saying, you know, you got to get here faster than that person, or this person's better than that person, or that person's better than me. There's no contest. There's no. Um, we call it like sh chivalry rivalry because <laughs> we're all brothers and sisters so there's no we're all one unit we're all one love energy so it's all about energy and so and then that's going to send you into the shadow work doing dark night of the soul you know going through all those deep stuff and rooted stuff of where you know you got that thought from and why you act this way because of this happened when you were a kid and you labeled it and you made it into a meaning and you brought that into your adulthood so basically it's like we're going through a lot of dark night and the best thing i can tell you to do with that is to journal write it out don't sit there in your head and think okay i'm working it through it you're working through it no you need a journal you need to write it out you need it's something about the energy of putting pen to paper and it's more than just typing it out you really want to put the energy into it to really get that energy and to really let it flow if you got to cry let it, you cry let it flow just release it all because i guarantee you, you're going to feel better than you ever had holding on to all that crap and if you want to make a ceremony out of it they're saying you can make a ceremony out of it you know if you want to burn it if you want it drowned in water, you want to freeze it, whatever it is that you feel called to do, you're listening to your intuition. And this is how you get your power back. This is how you gain control of your energy and your emotions because you don't want to pick up on everybody else's stuff, especially if you're ultra sensitive like I am. <laughs> um, so the next thing that is, that led me into becoming a spiritual medium. So all these little things that I've been going through, and in between my dark night, um, you know, after I had a couple of readings, they had said I'm a spiritual medium and I could be doing what they were doing. And I had, uh, this is one of my mystical experiences. <laughs> so I like to play, play with the spirit app. 
I know how to do it properly. I know how to only call in white light and love. And I always surround myself with only good intentions. If I have any kind of thoughts or fears going out, then that's what I'm going to attract. So, and I always burn white light. I always burn white candles. I always have my crystals around. And the negative energy just seems to know they're not allowed around here. And, you know, I've had experiences with that area with, you know, dealing with negative energy. And I'm not scared of them. You know, I've been dealing with them since I was a kid. Yeah, they kind of freak me out. They can't scare me and they can't hurt me. But... I know them a lot stronger than they are because I have a stronger power behind me than they do. So, on that note, um, so I'm playing with the Spirit app, and <clears throat> at this time, excuse me, I'm watching a lot of YouTube, and I'm, I'm researching so much stuff, and I'm trying to learn about my energy, my chakras, and, you know, megahertz sounds, and I'm learning about the pineal gland, and I'm just studying everything I can, you know, I'm just trying to absorb as much as I can. And um, I just, they were saying in the list um, what I got out of it. And I, it was funny because how it all made sense. And it was I was hearing it all in my mind. I don't know why. I didn't even realize I was clear audience. So it said in there, um, Johnson and radio. And it was like a bunch of other words. And I'm just thinking, really? You want me to find a Johnson on YouTube? Because I knew automatically they weren't talking about the radio. They they know I'm always on YouTube. And at this point, I was already asking the universe to show me signs that they were there, that you were listening to me. And I kept seeing you repeating numbers. And that was like I was looking that up. And I started really, you know, uh, listening to it. Then I'd find something on YouTube. And it totally gave me confirmation of what I was getting. And it was just incredible. So, um, and they said, look up Johnson on the radio. So I'm like, all right, it's got to be YouTube, and I'm like, are you guys kidding me? Do you have any? You know, you know how many Johnsons there are on YouTube? And so, uh, I had opened up my computer, and my phone was about ready to die or something. So I was charging that, and I opened up my computer, and the first thing in my feed is this woman called Brandeline Johnson. Never seen her before in my life. I, I never subscribed to her. She shouldn't have been in my feed, but she's right there in my feed, and she's teaching a course on the awakening. And she, t through all her course, I found out I was an empath. And then I had another psychic tell me that I'm more of a uh, sensitive than I am an empath. A sensitive is somebody who is uh, ultra sensitive to energies around them, to spirits and energies, and you know, more than just an empath. It's like I feel a lot more than just that. And, um,. So she was telling me that um, you know, I'm a medium, and it, she taught me everything. And it was the most incredible thing was all these um, experiences or all these little exercises I was doing. You know, I was communicating with animals, and she was getting feedback from these people. And they were like, oh, my God, I can't believe she got all that from a snake. I did a reading on a snake, and I was just like, are you kidding me? And I was spot on with everything, and I was just like, it, it just blew me away. And then I found out I was clairaudient, and I was clairvoyant, and then I did a reading and I had a smell around her, um, I can't remember what the smell was, like basil or something, and um, it was funny because I just had a, one of my oils break, and the only way I knew that smell was because of that smell. And I said, for some reason, I smell the smell, she's like, oh my god, my mother had just um, put an oil around her head for her aura, to clean her aura, and I was smelling it. So I started researching and found out it was a medium. And I was like, oh, wow, that's incredible. So what they want you to know out of all this is that follow your intuition. Follow the signs. Listen to what you're going through. You're not going crazy. Everybody's experience in this awakening may look, it's going to look totally different. As you know, we're all different people. We're not the same snowflake. We all have different shapes and geometric patterns and different energies. And, but yeah, we're all the same, you know, one love energy. You know, we're here for, what is my thing? Love is our sole purpose, you know? I love that. And that's what we're here for. So to remember our soul love, that we're all about love. And it's our soul, deeply in our soul. So um, I can't think of anything else I want to go with on this. Um, they just, like, really want me to go in more emphasis 
on a little bit of my journey on this awakening and this is like part two or three I think the first one I did was kind of I was kind of scared of you know saying too much and it's kind of nerve-wracking when you're you haven't been on YouTube and you just don't know what to say and you know you worry about being judged and all this stuff so you know I'm just me and I'm sharing my experiences so that you know that you're not going crazy and if there's something you're going through and you have a question about you know leave me a comment and you know, maybe I'll talk about it or I'll reply back to you or maybe I'll make a, big, a video about it because that will help me to make more videos as well. Um, and I really want to help. It's like my, my goal or not my goal. They're telling me that, you know, I'm here to help heal people and help you to remember to heal yourself. That, you know, there's no outside source. You can't find it. You have to find it within yourself. You know, nobody out there is going to make you feel better. Nothing you're going to get out there is going to make you feel better. you got to work it on for you and this is all about your journey and don't let anybody you know make you feel like you know you're going crazy or you're you know you're not worth it or you're not enough you know because you are enough and you are worthy and you know work on those you know that's why all this is coming up that's where the dark night shout out the dark night of the soul pot comes in so i hope you resonate and thank you for stopping by i really really appreciate it and it really you know i just really hope i help one person out there to understand what they're going through and that you know if you are on the journey of a psychic abilities maybe this will help you maybe you don't understand what the experiences you're going through but they really want you to know too is to ask talk to them talk to the universe even if you don't know who you're talking to just say universe please show me a sign Angels, guides, spirit team, whatever, please show me a sign. Show me what direction I need to go. Because I guarantee you, they will show you. Either by song, by somebody else, by a letter, by a YouTube video. Whatever it is, you will be guided to hear that confirmation that you're on the right track. Just follow your guidance. Follow your intuition. Meditate. Get out of up here. Don't think so much. You don't need to go up there. And um, I think that's it. So... Again, I hope you resonate. I hope you like the video. And uh, look for the part three. I think I'm going to be talking about the dark night of the soul, shadow work, um, why you're going through it, and that kind of thing. You know, it's not as bad as we make a thing, but we make it worse in our heads. So let's go from there, and we'll talk again later. Thank you so much. Sorry, I was getting a message at the same time, and I, my brain went out. Okay. Thank you so much again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Have a good night.